it's Abby and today I have an assortment of blind boxes from Kika Goods which they kindly sent to me. Thank you very much Kika Goods. I am so excited to check these all out. These are probably my favorite videos because it's all a mystery to me and to you guys. So where do we start? We have some good ones here today. Why don't we open this adorable capybara first? They are little capybara figures. I love the one in the bath. I love the little stacked capybaras. There's a secret one. And I think they're color changing? Seems to be what that implies. Let's pull this tab and find out. Or not. There we go. Didn't have to destroy the box too much. Oh, super safe in here. Oh, oh my goodness, it's so tiny. I love that it comes in a little random baggie. We're losing parts. I think this is little bathtub copy bada. Oh my goodness. What a cutie pie. Little copy bada says take a shower. Pretty sure you're taking a bath, little copy bada. We're gonna have to investigate about the little color changing thing. I don't know if it's just the one figure or all of them. I am obsessed. Here is the card. Someday I would love to go see real copy badas in an onsen. Next, why don't we take a look at this Laura blind box. You guys may know I love Laura. I think she is the sweetest, cutest. This is the werewolves tea party. You guys know I can't say wolf, 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 wolf. Anyway, I have never opened this set before as far as I can remember. I do have a set of the sweet set and I love it so much and I have a big Laura. Is she 200%? I can't remember, but anyway. I would love like a darker, like purpley or blue one, but honestly, just happy to be here. Here it is. A stand and two purple, are those gloves? Hmm. Oh, it's red. She is so adorable. I believe this one is the werewolf. She is the werewolf. Let me put her gloves on. The purple and red combo is definitely interesting, but I think it's cute. I like her ears, her little tail. Her hair is very shaggy. I guess it's kind of like a wolf cut. Maybe not quite, her bangs are a little different. As always, I love Laura's eyes. Maybe not the one that I wanted, but this design is pretty good. She can live on the Laura shelf. Why don't we open this mystery box next? I say mystery, but there is a label on it. Um, there were like four or five different designs. I'm curious to see this. I thought it would be a cute prop to use with my little BJDs that I got from Kika Goods. So I don't know if this is more of like, like a decoration <laughs> rather than a figure. Oh, it's plastic. I think it's gonna look pretty cool. Let me get rid of all this styrofoam. Actually, it might be ceramic. It's cold, it's not plastic. But oh my goodness, look at those eyelashes. Lashes longer than mine. But I think I was right. These will look super cute with little BJDs. I love the antlers and little flowers. This is so cute. So there were other designs. I don't really have the lineup here with me now, but I will link everything down below. If you use my code Lorien, you can get 10% off of your order. But look at that. What a sweetheart. Let's check out Azuki Can next. This is the second set from this character artist. And they are all cute kitties. Oh my goodness, I need the sad one. Let me enhance. There's an Angie one. There's a secret one. I actually don't know if this is from like a cartoon or comic, but it's Azuki-san. I assume the cat's name's Azuki, which means red bean. It's really cute. Look at the top of the box. It's like a can. We're gonna open it up. Um, I don't think I opened it right. Got it. This right here, who do we have? It's a sitting pose. Oh, it's the shopping one. Package nice and secure in bubble wrap. We love that. Oh my goodness, it's flocked. 
If you are a cat person, you need this. Oh my goodness, guys. You're not ready. Butthole check. Just a teeny tiny one. Adorable. Just a little kitty going shopping. The flock figures feel so good. Love it. Look at the big eyes. Definitely a win on this one. Here is the card. I can't read all the kanji, but it's a cute kitty going shopping. We love. We gotta open Paimon next. I used to play Genshin pretty religiously, stopped playing because I was spending too much money on the game, but I still have a love for all the characters, especially Paimon, because I have been told that I'm basically Paimon. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but we'll, we'll, we'll pretend it's a compliment. So, all of these Paimon figures are food related. Um, I think I'll be happy with any of them, really. I'm excited to see what it looks like. Well, that didn't do much. There we go. Okay, emergency snack. Let's see what you are. Ooh. Here is the figure. The little halo was separate, but it goes right on. Are those hamburger patties? Oh my goodness, look at the little chibi paimon body. This is actually pretty detailed for how small it is. This is one I would totally want the full set. If you've gotten blind boxes from the set before, send me pictures. I want to see them. How about we open this one next? It says it is called Aroma Princess Magician, Magic Town. I've been seeing pictures of these and thought they looked really cute. Kind of a creepy, spooky vibe. I like little butterfly or moth girls. I like these too. And then there's two secret ones. I would love to get a secret one. Let me enhance a bit. I like that one. I keep seeing pictures of this one, actually. The secret ones are gonna be fancy, I bet. I think I want that one. I want that one. I think I like that one. And then, then these, maybe? Not the hugest fan of this one. I like the design on this one, but it's a lot of green. Let's do this. Maybe. I'm struggling a bit today. Oh, there's a card in there. Little forbidden snack. Oh, spoilers. Oh, it comes with a chest, a little familiar. I didn't know it came with extra parts. Oh, wait. Oh, it sits on it. These are cool. Oh my goodness, the paint job's pretty good. There's a little few scuffed parts that I think maybe got scratched or smudged. Those can be fixed up. Oh, look at the poor bunny. I think this is the werewolf. We have a theme going on today. Let me get this out. This is really cool. So it's a chest, but this side is a monster. That is a cool design. I think you can perch like that. Oh my goodness, I need more of these. They are so good. I'll just touch up those spots. That's an easy fix. I love it. Poor, poor bunny. It's so well made. I love the sculpt. A little scratch on the eye, little eyebrows. I need to look up pictures of the secret ones. Next one is a Lulu the Piggy Pig Shillin Restaurant. I have been dying to open this one ever since I saw it on the website. Look at them. They're all adorable. Well, I don't care for candle. It's Lulu as different dishes and also serving the food. I really want lobster bisque for some reason. I just think it's adorable. We love Lulu. I also love that it's called Pig Shillin. Oh, there's the secret ones too. I mean, I'll take a secret one any day. Again, failing at opening this. There we go. I assume it's gonna be a little bit tiny. The box is kind of smaller. Weights. And... Guys! It's lobster bisque! Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. Um, look at the indent on the plate for Lulu's little piggy butt. I'm sorry, this is the best figure ever. I have won the blind box collecting game. I'm done, I'm retiring. How cute is that? And Lulu is flocked. Ooh, it's super soft flocking too. I love it. Okay, no butthole, but look at those little butt cheeks. The little tail, I'm obsessed. This is my first Lulu the pig. There was a summer set that I really, really liked, but I was like, I can't collect another IP and passed on it. But um, seeing this one, you all need to look up Lulu the pig and you all need to get pig shillin. I am in love. Look at Lulu. I'm gonna find a spot in my kitchen for this. Maybe on one of my shelves. A few more to go. We have Summers. 
which I found out after I opened this before that um, the artist for some is, is Japanese, so I'm showing my support. But also, isn't this design adorable? Enhancing, last time we got this one with a little seal, so I want something different. I think they're all kind of funny and quirky. I don't really care for the hammerhead shark. I would like, you know, the main shark. Is that a great white? I don't know my sharks. The mochi one's cute. The dim sum one's cute. I think those are pancakes. That's the one I have. Let's see who I got. Oh, spoilers. It's tiny. It's the mochi one. Oh my goodness, I love it. So the seal is the mochi getting eaten by the shark. Is the shark's name Samez? Same means shark. Oh my goodness, that expression. I love it. Okay, let me get the other pieces and we'll set it all up. Let's see if I can do this without dropping everything. Here is the tatami mat. It goes like this. And then we have the little divider background. And then I think this is like a radio? It's supposed to be a little more traditional and old-fashioned maybe and then there are tiny tiny pieces that go ah, on the zoni little mushroom shiitake some i assume mitsuba i might glue these down and a little carrot oh my goodness please stay not something i would typically collect but i don't know why i love this ip let me set this down gently two more to open i'm saving the best for last but i am mega super duper excited about this one it's a little dragon and the designs i think they're pretty intricate looking i think the tail is like a plushy so i'm curious to see that combination of like plastic and plush i want that one that one or that one i don't know what color that is but i would love to see it don't really care for the orange red and green i hope i'm not jinxing myself that one opened nicely Look how big it is. I think we got a purple. Oh my goodness. Oh, this one smells good. Okay, so here is the tail. It looks like art from Monsters University. And there's a wire in it so you can shape it to curl around a little if you want. There's a flower on the end. But look at this design. It's so pretty. Look at the eye chips. I love when a figure has eye chips. It boosts it in quality for me. Has cute little bat wings. A little collar that looks like a flower. Cute paws. Oh my goodness, I love this so much. I kind of didn't really know what to expect, but this is so pretty. It's so big too. The tail's so soft. I'm trying to make it zigzag a little. I'll play around with it a little. It's cute. Chinese bellflower. How adorable. And that comes with a little comic. I wonder what color the secret one is. What if it's rainbow? Alrighty, last but not least, we have Fairyland Elves. And this series, this IP, this set is, well, not this set specifically, but I feel like a lot of my Discord members love the Sleeping Elves. And this set called to me, so I requested this one. I love that one. And then these two down here, the pastel ones, but any of the darker ones, very pretty. The mermaid ones are so pretty too. 5 2 Toys knows how to make a good figure. Here we go. Oh. I think I'm getting kind of lucky today. How pretty. Let's get her out of there. She kind of gives Genshin Kaching vibes. So pretty. The purple hair, the pose is so pretty too. I need more of these. So, what did you all think of today's selection? I think we had some really good ones. I mean, we got Lulu. Lobster Bisque Lulu. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite out of all the ones I opened today. And please say a big thank you to Kika Goods for sponsoring this video and sending me so many figures. I wanna say an even bigger thank you to you guys for supporting me and watching this video and allowing me to make videos like this. I appreciate it so much. If you're not subscribed already, please do. We have so much fun at premieres and on Discord and live streams and 
and would love to have you hang out with us. Please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, it helps me out more than you know. We are in a constant battle of trying to please the algorithm gods, so please help me out and I will see you all next time. Bye!